Hi, this is Tom Blodgett from Genda Industries, and today I want to go over uh, loading up the Genda Nano Cloth Strops. Uh, it's a little bit of a process the first time, and just want to walk you through. So we have different flavors of sizes here, all color coded to match. So in this case, we have green, uh, which matches the emulsion uh, label. So they're color coded that way. Otherwise, all the bases are acrylic. They're all the same. The Nano Cloth itself is all the same on every grit. It doesn't matter. It's the same material. Uh, the only thing is there for color coding for ease of recognition without having to read that this is going to be a quarter micron. So basically they're all green, they're all the same. It's even marked on the side here so you can see loading these up. So we have different sizes here. We've got a 1x4, we have a 1x6, we have a 2x6 and a 210x70 or full size strop. I'm going to take a brand new... You can see how black that surface is. These are already loaded here. But you see how black this is, it's jet black. So we're gonna fill up, basically we have the honeycomb structure, we're gonna fill that up. So we're just gonna spritz some on. And it's very thirsty. So the first time you load this, it's actually gonna use quite a bit. Uh, not the whole bottle or anything like that, but it's gonna use probably three or four mils of uh, emulsion at, one, at the first loading. And, and as I spread it around here, you can use like a knife. It's going to start falling into those honeycomb structures there. You can see it's already starting to bubble up. You can see the black. It's just basically falling into the holes of the nanocloth. So this first time is it's very thirsty. Spread that out evenly. And I let this dry like five or ten minutes. You'll see in just like a minute here in the video uh, just how quickly that first coat you already see it starting to speckle. And it's just getting sucked in. It's starting to really fall into the structure here. You can start starting to swish cheese up. So, all right, we'll move on from that to something that's already been loaded. Uh, this one's previously loaded and used. So we're just gonna reload it. So here, it doesn't need nearly as much as, it, as the first time. You know, this is more just covering the surface. So that was about three. So, do two more. That is just about recharging it, basically, getting those holes topped off. And when it dries, it's going to dry black. You can see how it's not disappearing as readily as the first drop, which is already... Kind of get them side by side here. So it's maintaining the moisture level more because it's already filled up, so it's just not falling in as fast. When you re reload it, it takes, you know, about half as much as the first time you load it. And this, what we'll do is come back in a little bit and you'll see that it's going to turn black again. It'll have a light haze to it, but it's still going to be black. It's not going to be gray like it is right now. It's going to dry black. This one is a strop that was loaded and used, and then we decided to clean it. So what we did was we washed it out with just water because it's water soluble. Dry it with uh, compressed air. Uh, basically, it's, it's pretty dry. Uh, so that's one way to clean them. And then when you go to load it up again, you just simply Now, this is a big strop, so we're not sure how much it's going to take. When I was drying this out, I noticed that there was some gray residue that was coming out with the compressed air. There was still some diamond residue in there after just a rinse, but all the heavy stuff that was on the top has been uh, removed. So that's what your first coating should look like. And you can see as we've progressed already in just a short period of time, what, what a minute, minute and a half? We're already starting to turn back to black. And again, this is starting to dry out and this one will continue as well. So we'll come back in a few minutes and show you uh, what it looks like then. So it's been literally about five minutes, um, maybe seven. So you can see already how that has transitioned to uh, sort of black with a gray haze to it. Same thing with the two by six. The full size one here is still drying. You can see, but you see how fast it's kind of drying. The streaks are there just from the, the concentration as I spread it with my finger. So that'll take a little longer to dry because it's just a little bit pooled. I also want to load up the one by four so you can see how many squirts it takes. So I'll do four. This is a, a 50 mil bottle. So if you get a seven mil bottle, anticipate using about three mils, about half. Uh, if you get the 25 mil bottle, you're, you're good for a long time. 50 mil, you're going to get soaked in pretty good. So one, oops, one and a half more. Five second rule. <laughs> you really load it because it's very thirsty. All right, we'll let that dry as well. Add that to the mix. 
So generally speaking, after you've done this, let them sit several hours, to be honest, because you don't want to pull them out with wet. When you do it wet, you'll just pull off the diamond, and that's a waste. So let them dry uh, overnight or a couple hours at least, and then use them. And we'll do another video shortly on how to use these. All right, thanks.